2007, 2008. And he was asking all of us, all the kids in the house, there was about 10 of us living in the house at the time. And he goes, uh, I want you guys to all come up with a business plan and business ideas, at least three different. I think he said one, I think he said two or three different ideas. And uh, we're going to see which one of the best ones. And I'm going to go with it and try to open up the business and let's start that kind of like a family business type of thing. I was like, all right, this is cool. We're finally trying to do like a family kind of thing. Let's see how this goes. And sure enough, my idea was real estate. Yo, Pops, um, these landlords are renting these houses for an insane amount of money in these middle of nowhere towns and they're making the money. Like they're getting the money. That's not even the issue. They're getting the money, you know? And um, he told me it was a stupid idea. It was risky. Um, he said, it don't make no sense. I can't see the property. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, dude, I'm there. I'm in college. I can go, dude, I can do this all day long. This is not hard. I see these guys. I know what they're doing. I'm essentially just collecting rent and just telling you what's going on with the property. And if something goes wrong, I let you know. I can try to find someone to fix it or you can find someone to fix it. And I'm the middleman just making sure there's a, just a buffer between you guys and the students and their parents. And I'm there. You got, you got boots on the ground, you know, I build up the house and it's like a seven bedroom house that we have in Uniondale, full basement, uh, one, two, three, four bathrooms. And I'm just like, yo, bro, this is a, this house is a college steal for anyone who gets their hands on it. And the fact that you guys are not figuring this out, just figure it out, go 50, 50 on the house. Let's fix it up and let's just rent it. And everyone goes their separate ways. And guess what? You both make passive income and you guys are both set for life. It doesn't get any better than that. But going back to that, that's pretty much how I got interested in real estate, looking up some stuff, thinking that it was going to happen. And then from there, I kind of just stopped, but I was always interested in doing it because I felt like that was the way to, I didn't know what it was the way to, but it just seemed like a great idea. I'm like, if these guys, I did the math on it. I was like, dude, this is, just makes too much sense.